The secret weapon to fight DUI charges in Ontario is your charter rights. And today I'm going to show you exactly how to use them to potentially beat your DUI case. I'm Dan Joffe, DUI Lawyer at Nexla. Before we dive in, please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell to stay informed on important legal topics. Now, let's talk about how the Charter of Rights and Freedoms can be a game changer in your DUI defense strategy. I'm going to break down five key points that could make all the difference in your DUI case. First, what exactly is the Charter of Rights and Freedoms? It's a powerful part of the Canadian Constitution designed to protect you from government actions, including those of the police and the Crown lawyers prosecuting your case. Here's the kicker. Even if you're technically guilty of a DUI, a breach of your charter rights could lead to your case being dismissed. That's how seriously the courts take your rights. Let me share a real life example that shows just how powerful charter rights can be. A man was charged with a DUI taken to the police station. He requested to speak with his own lawyer, as is his right under Section 10B of the Charter. But instead of letting him speak to his chosen lawyer, the police had him talk to duty counsel. Now, you might think he still got to talk to a lawyer, right? Wrong. His lawyer later challenged this as a breach of his Section 10 be charter rights. And guess what? The judge agreed. The case was dismissed because even though he spoke to a lawyer, it wasn't the lawyer of his own choice. This person was likely guilty of the DUI, but walked away free because of the charter breach. So how do we DUI defense lawyers use the charter to fight DUI charges? Here's our strategy. First, we gather all the evidence from the moment of police contact to your release from custody. Second, we arrange this evidence in chronological order, creating a timeline of events. Third, we compare this timeline to what should have happened according to the charter rights and court decisions. Fourth, we identify any discrepancies. These differences between what happened and what should have happened are potential charter breaches. Finally, we use these breaches to build a defense, challenging the DOI evidence and potentially getting the charges dismissed. Now, you might be wondering, why do charter defenses work so well? Well, there are four main reasons. One, they focus on protecting your rights, not just proving innocence. Two, courts take charter breaches very seriously. Three, even small mistakes by the police can lead to case dismissals. And four, charter defenses can work even if you exceed the BAC limit. Here's the bottom line. When facing a DUI charge, your constitutional rights are your strongest ally. Whether you're dealing with an impaired driving charge, uh, an over 80 charge, or refusal to provide a breath sample, understanding how charter rights apply to your case could be the key to beating those DUI charges. So if you're facing a DUI charge in Ontario, don't just focus on proving your innocence. Make sure your lawyer is looking for any potential charter breaches. It could be the secret weapon that wins your case. If you found this video helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with anyone who might need it. And if you're dealing with a DUI charge and need expert help, don't hesitate to reach out. My contact information is in the description below. Thanks for watching and remember, know your rights, they're your best defense.